or listening to a podcast from Glen Store Abbey. The catechism definition of prayer, which I learned as a child, meant absolutely nothing to me then. But it has remained with me strangely for me to experience its wise sufficiency ever since. Prayer is a raising of the mind and heart to God, to thank him, to praise him, and to ask his grace and blessings, or words to that effect. And that is what it is, as simply as that, and as difficult as that. Prayer might also be compared with relationship. It is how we relate with God, which is just what makes it both so simple and so difficult. That is to say, it is the living essence of the individual person being with, reaching out to the great other whom Jesus Christ calls the Father, or indeed to Jesus himself, or to the Holy Spirit, to Mary, or to the saints. For many people, this happens in moments of crisis and personal need, when the core of their being is touched and moved to reach out for help, for salvation. The Christian tradition, from its very beginnings, is in touch with this dynamic, by means of the Holy Spirit of the Father, in naming Jesus Christ, the only begotten of the Father, as the one whom the Father has sent to save the cosmos, which he loves so much, in which he has invested so much. It is a tradition which owes much to its Jewish ancestry, and therefore it includes concepts like covenant and sacrifice, which seem far removed from everyday life, but they really are simply cultural expressions of the very human phenomena of devotion and commitment. For this particular prayer, prayer is what happens when the Spirit moves me to reflect on that awesome truth. And there wells up in me all at once gratitude, astonishment, compunction, wonder, and even love for this gracious other whom I dare to call Father, because Jesus Christ invites me to do so. But it is also the case that our beliefs shape or inform our prayer. That is to say, what we believe has a major bearing on how we pray, to whom we pray, for example, I believe that Jesus Christ has salvaged the human project by dying our human death and rising to divine life, so that my human death will be followed by my divine life, made possible by him. I believe, too, that as he charmed and electrified his hearers in Palestine, inviting them to come and see where he lived, so, too, he is inviting me. And I can't wait to enjoy that encounter. As in relationship, so in prayer, there are so many forms of encounter. For the Spirit moves where it will, 
relating to Our Lady and the saints is so very different from prayer with Jesus Christ and with the Father. With them, there is more of a familiarity as with one of the family who has gone before us. And yet, they are in God, as in due course, I too hope to be. But whatever the prayer, it is a reaching out from the heart of oneself to the heart of the other. Whether in grief or in joy, in need or in abundance. For I am not sufficient unto myself. I am relational and I need to be in relationship. And that absolutely.